Namaskaram, Sadhguru. Here. She's right. I'm Dragana from uh, Serbia, Belgrade. First of all, I want to say how grateful I am for all the people, volunteers, who are doing this job. So thank you so much. Uh, so my question is, how to motivate young people uh, to do the movement? how they're motivated uh, uh, to I go... I think you're pretty young, huh? <laughs> what no, do you I think? How old are you? I'm pretty and young. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so my question is how to motivate young people to do this movement, how they're motivated to go, for example, to the gym and uh, pull the weights, you know, <laughs> at least some of them. <laughs> <laughs> They've given me a list of things you could do. One thing is uh, you follow this journey for say on Safe Soil on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. I'm... <laughs> because... <laughs> So this is because all these numbers, how many people say safe soil in the next uh, 91 days is going to be aggregated? I'm addressing COP15 in Ivory Coast on 9th and 10th of May. 170 nations, their representatives will be there. And UNCCD is the host for the COP. And I'm addressing the whole group. By then, if you have over three billion people for me on these various, uh, you know, platforms, it's a done thing. <laughs> so, one thing is uh, share the safe soil dot org website with as many people as you can, especially the, the six, seven minute video is there, which I think they played in the beginning. Uh, you can share that with as many people as possible. Don't limit this to uh, Slovenia, Croatia and other things. This has to be global because when it comes to ecology and soil, national boundaries mean nothing. Only... <laughs> only we... Human beings have this problem, only we human beings have this problem that we cut up the planet into different pieces and say, this is mine and that is yours and every day we are fighting about it non-stop. If, <laughs> if we have no piece of land to fight about, we will fight about our skin color or we'll fight about some nonsense that we believe in. Race, religion, nationality has taken enough lives. So this has happened because we are continuously focusing on what is the differences between us. We are aiming at what are differences between us. All kinds of things, hair color they are fighting. Can you beat it? Anybody can change the damn hair color anytime these days. But on that some people are fighting, there are groups of people in America fighting constantly on the social media, my hair color versus yours, you can go to a saloon and change the damn hair color tomorrow morning. But about that they're fighting. So I'm saying we're always looking at what is different about us. We need to look for common factors, the common denominator for all of us. If you don't understand what is the unifying cosmic consciousness, if you don't know where the hell that is, at least you understand our very bodies have come from this soil, we nourish ourselves from this soil, at least when we're dead we go back to this soil. The question is only, the, the question is only 
whether you get it now or you will get it when you're buried, that's the only question. You'll anyway get it one day, but if you get it now, we can make a difference. So let us look at the common factors that unify us. I don't want this say... you know, it's, uh, it's under the umbrella of conscious planet. So this... we are not going to stop with ecology once the necessary policy changes are achieved, which I'm confident in the next eighteen to twenty-four months in most nations it will happen. It's just that we want to give confidence for the governments that the people are with you, otherwise they will hesitate and drag their feet about it. Why I'm saying this is, um, even in COP26, they did not address soil at all. Simply because they are afraid whether people will come with them or not. So you have to show that people are with you. If you do this, we are with you. If you give that confidence, democratically elected na nations will move forward. I want you to understand, I know everybody has commentary about political leaders in the world, but I want you to understand this. If you had a profession where you are in the top job, and tomorrow morning if you lose your election today, tomorrow morning you are nothing. If you had a job like that, you would also do a few crazy things. Yes or no? So let's be... <laughs> let's understand the problem that is there. Without people's mandate, they will not move. So this is what needs to happen. Three to four billion people have to speak. They don't have to support me. Your uh, youth friends who are pulling weights, they don't have to support me. They just have to say something about soil for these ninety days. If you do this, Getting the policy done is very much possible. We have made these policy documents for each nation separately. We'll be offering the policy document to your leadership here and every... all the 192 countries, we have made separate documents for every one of them. It will be offered to every nation. More than anything, we will push it through the UN and it will go through. It is just that if it has pace is important at what speed it happens in given country. That speed can be achieved only if people speak. Otherwise, governments will make the policy and still hesitate to invest money on that. People should give the confidence, if you invest money for the well-being of the future generations, we are with you, you need to say that. See, right now, if you have a child, how many of you have children of your own? If you... if you spend on your child, something that you could buy doesn't happen, isn't it so? This is the economy of the family. Hello? To put the child in a good school, you will forego something instead of buying a fancy car, you put the child in a university. Have you not done this, every one of you? Hello? One way or the other? So this is the way it is. If a nation invests in future generations, we may have to forego something. You have to give this confidence to the government that if you invest in long-term well-being of our nation, we are with you. This is all I'm asking. Save soil means just this, you are giving confidence to democratically elected leaders that if they invest long term, you are with them. If they don't invest everything that they have within these four or five years that they are ruling, you will dismantle them. This is the threat always from the populations. Yes, in every country, this is the problem. So give them that confidence, we will see that it happens. And... and also the Save Soil song, la 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 Make it reverberate across the country. Ah, this should become the... your mantra for the no next ninety days at least. You can download this from the... this thing, there is a QR code, you can download that. And in India, the Isha homeschool children took up this commitment that they will inspire ten million children across the country to write a letter to the Prime Minister. You, for your population, at least hundred, two hundred thousand children, if they write to your Prime Minister, you think they will ignore this? They cannot ignore this, I'm telling you. <laughs> and every... Every one of you, whatever you drive, whether you drive a two-wheel vehicle or a four-wheel vehicle, at least have one little safe soil sticker if you don't have any vehicle. <laughs> Stick it somewhere, huh? Hello. Carry the message, it's important that 
you must understand this is not my planet, it's our planet, hello?